Hi, this is Canastota Superintendent Sean Bissetta, and I want to send special congratulations to Canastota's sixth grade class of 2020. This is a really unusual year, but you worked hard and made the best of a very tough situation. And now your reward is here. You are about to become students at the junior senior high school. It's a big move, but I'm confident that you're ready for the challenge. As you move to your new school, I want you to remember that you are part of a special place with high expectations and you can do whatever you want if you're willing to work for it. You have an opportunity to continue Canastota's tradition of excellence. As we finish up the year, be sure to take some time to rest up and enjoy the summer. You deserve a good summer after all of the craziness at the end of the year. And come back ready to be the best that you can be and ready to make our school the best one around. Congratulations, sixth grade class of 2020, and go Raiders. Hi, my name is Bill Haddad. I'm the Canastota Board of Education President. And on behalf of the Board of Education, I am happy to be able to say a few words on your last day at Robert Streets Elementary. Nobody ever thought that your last days in school were going to be in March. What I will say to you is that you overcame probably one of the hardest times in the last 90 years of our country but you did what you needed to do to be able to move up. As you prepare to move up to junior high, I think it is natural to think a little bit about your experiences in elementary school. You have worked hard and accomplished much in your time here. You have learned how to read and to write. You have become proficient in math, learned how to think like scientists, and have been acquainted with many of the world's regions, customs, and history in your social studies lessons. You have created beautiful pieces of art, perform music, and learn much about physical fitness and wellness. Along the way, you've made new friends. You've been taught by very many wonderful teachers. Most importantly, I think you've learned what it is mean to be a respectful person, good citizen to your school and your community. No matter what subjects your teachers taught you over the years, what they were most concerned about was your well-being and your development. I hope you will allow me to take just one last opportunity to give you some advice to take with you to junior high. Work hard. Things won't always come easy for you. They shouldn't. What's worth learning is worth learning and working hard for. The payoff will be great. Continue to be courteous and respectful towards adults, towards your peers, towards yourself. Good manners and respectful attitude will take you far in this world. Get involved. Find extracurricular activities that you are interested in and get involved. You are likely to meet new friends and share some common interests with you and have fun along the way. And smile. This seems may, may seem a little silly, but it's important. Maintaining a positive attitude or faking it when necessary will go a long way in helping make your new friends and feeling good about yourself. You will be amazed how much better the world looks and how the world looks at you when you have a smile on your face. Yesterday, you were sixth graders. You leave here learned a lot. Today, you are seventh graders and you have much more to learn in the years ahead. Congratulations as you move forward into junior high. Skylar Bennett. Isabel Blazier, Corey Brown Jr., Austin Brumber, Betty Ann Gardner, Kaya Goodman, Trinity Isom, Stephen Johnson II, Jacob Johnson Dibble. Casey Landers, Anshi Modgill, Sierra Nodi, Darren Nowakowski, Nathan Puchalis, Stephen Sancombe, Derek Sharp, Isis Slowanowski, Maddie Snyder, Caleb Stanton, Parker Volsky-Shepard, Carrera Walsh, 
Michael Wilkinson. Lillian Avery, Christopher Barkham, Jacob Campanella, Sky Capistran, Layla Cooper, Colin Dam, Nina Damore, Taylor Guy, Ty Hawkins. Brendan Keegan, Neva King, Gage Crom, Alyssa Leroy, Aiden Lum, Balin Mancini, Landon Nicholas, Aiden Register, Brooke Roberts. Lily Sargent, Bridget Snyder, Gavin Stevens, Casey Tannehill, Jacob Winchell.
Sierra Dyer, Richard Fairbanks, Morgan Fusillo, Lucan Geyser, Emily Gustin, Kevin Halsey, Andrew Hatch, Landon Hughes, Ryan Iverson, Natalie Kaplan, Caden Mastriano, Serenity Miller, Mason Morris, Faith Ollie, Cole Ox, Olivia Page, Logan Reed, Nathan Schiebler, Lillian Smith, Ruby Ward. Joshua Bunnell, Logan Claflin, Callie Congdon, Cassidy Congdon, Nathan Davis, Trinity Jenkins, Stephanie Johnson, Tibor Loro Jr., Landon Lawrence, Aiden Maldonado, Jasmine Maxfield, Adi Modgill, Joseph Muir, Gabriella Murphy, Ashley Nodine, Bridget Pacpino, Marcus Relier, Mason Roberts, Alex Rossi, Daniel Sadowski, Leona Toll, Wiley Yazzie.
Good evening, and I was glad you were able to join us for our virtual sixth grade moving up ceremony. I want to congratulate the class of 2026 and wish them the very best of luck this summer and in their future endeavors. I am filled with great hope today, tomorrow, and the future for Robert Street Elementary School. The students and staff built a great deal of momentum this year, and it is our charge to see it through. As I sit here in the shadow of Carmen Basilio in the Boxing Hall of Fame and what would have been the Boxing Hall of Fame weekend, I was reminded of a great speech from a great boxer who once said, it's not about how hard you can hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, and that's how winning is done. It will be our charge, both students and staff and administrators, to continue to move forward and to not focus on our losses, but on our gains and our wins. We have lost so much over these last couple of months, but there are many silver linings, too many to name, but so many to count. It is important at this time that we thank all of those who contributed to the success of Robert Street Elementary School this year. First and foremost, I wanna thank the Board of Education for their, un commit their unwavering commitment to our students. I wanna thank our superintendent, Mr. Bassetta, for leading us forward. Our business leader and our assistant superintendent, Mr. Clancy and Mr. Panuccio, and also to thank Mrs. Quinn, the leader of our PTO. I also like to thank Ms. Clark for our transportation needs and to make sure that she and her staff are recognized for all of the little things that they have done throughout this uh, national pause. It's also important to point out our everyday heroes of our teacher's assistant and teacher aides who, cr who created lunches for each and every student um, every single day. You have been nothing but short of amazing. Most importantly, I want to thank the teachers of Robert Street Elementary School and the teachers across the entire district who created a learning environment that had never been thought of before March 13th. You, my friends and family, please take a bow. In closing, I'd like to thank the parents who continue to support us throughout this pause and who continue to ask those questions and provide feedback. Without you, none of this will be possible. So as much as we celebrate our students and our teachers and our staff, it is also important that we recognize our parents, because without you, none of this will be possible. So if, on behalf of everybody here at Robert Street Elementary School, I want to say thank you for all that you've done this year, to have a wonderful summer, to stay safe, and remain healthy. You will always be welcome back here at Robert Street Elementary School. You may go away, but this will always be home. Thank you. Hi, sixth graders. I just wanted to let you know I'm so proud of you and I can't wait to see you next year, and good luck in seventh grade. Hi, Canastota, class of 2026. That's really hard to believe that you guys are gonna be graduating in six more years. You've just finished your sixth grade year and the end of your elementary career, um, and you're moving on to bigger and better things. I'm sorry that our year got cut short. There was a lot of things that I was looking forward to um, that we were unable to do. However, I don't wanna focus on the negative things. We're all going through this together and we all had to learn new opportunities and new challenges. Um, when things get tough, it's hard. Sometimes the easy thing is just to say, I'm gonna throw in the towel and this is too hard, or I can't do this, or um, this teacher's not teaching it the same way that my teacher would be in school. And I know that those were a lot of the concerns that many people had. Um, what I'm very proud of are those of you who persevered. You stuck with it and you gave it your all. That's all we can ask of you. Moving forward and into seventh grade and on up through the junior and the high school, you guys are gonna come up with many different challenges. And um, I think of it in terms of the Super Bowl. When a team finally gets to the Super Bowl, they don't give up because they got there. They work harder than ever so they can win the title and bring it home. Take that message with you as you guys move on into your um, junior high and high school career. Um, take some time over the summer to reflect and to relax. Make sure you guys are staying safe and practicing social distancing. Make sure you have time for yourself and for your friends. I'm gonna miss you guys. It's been a really challenge for all of us. I enjoy looking at you and seeing you guys on Google Meets when you join. It's nice to have those conversations. Um, it's time to say goodbye, guys. I enjoy you, uh, enjoyed having everybody, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next year as you stop in and say hello and tell me how wonderful things are in the junior high. Um, persevere, set goals, stay true to yourself, guys, and don't give up. Have a great summer, guys. Miss you. It has been amazing watching the sixth grade class learn and grow this year. 
We are so lucky to be able to see you and hear about how you are growing as students after you have moved up to the seventh grade. This is not goodbye, it's see you later. You'll, you will be back and we will see you again. You will come to the sixth grade wing to say hello, to give us air fives and to inquire about fundraisers. And you need to come back because I'd like some Thanksgiving pies from the chorus students. We will see you again. So with how difficult it is to see you go, we must. So see you later and good luck next year and beyond. Hey, sixth graders, Mrs. Finley here, and just kind of thinking about some final last thoughts or ideas I want to say to you and um, send you on your way to junior high land. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys all know, um, not been easy. I completely understand that, and I'm super proud of all your perseverance and hard work and determination. Um, it's it's been a it's been a ride. Um, so. Things that you've missed out on, um, missed out on Green Lakes, kind of missed out on the end of the year, kind of saying goodbye to elementary school. Um, I am really going to miss not racing most of you at the Nate race and beating almost all of you. Um, but there's always next year. So I'll give you a whole year to train and get through that. Um, but besides that, just a couple of things I wanted to leave with you. Um, I want you to think about the next six years and you have junior high and high school. You're going to have some amazing opportunities. Um, you're going to be able to try different sports, try drama club, try plays, you know, art club, all of these things. I want you to really embrace um, things that you maybe not had tried before. I want you to embrace new experiences and try things. Um, the other part of that is I want you to think about next six years, and it's going to be some awesome and horrific memories of junior high and high school. Um, think about being kind. Um, be kind to one another. You're going to need each other in the next six years. And um, it just makes for the ride of, of, you know, all of those memories that you're going to be making a lot better. So just be kind to one another and uh, just it goes a long way. The other thing I want you guys to know is I will forever be your teacher. You might be 17, you might be 12, you might be, you know, 13, I will always be your teacher. So what does that mean? That means that I will always be in the hallway for you. If you find yourself in the next few years needing a person to talk to or a friend to listen to, um, you know, I'm there. I will problem solve with you and I will make time for you. So please know that you always have somebody in the building. Um, you know, come see me and we will figure it out together or if you just have great news to share, I want to hear that too. Um, I am just disappointed that I didn't get to spend the second half of your sixth grade year with you. It's my favorite. Um, I get to start to see the glimmer of the young person or young adult that you get start to become. And it's like, oh, awesome. So that makes me sad. Um, but I'm very proud of you. And I know that you guys are all going to be successful. Um, you just got to work hard and stay determined and work, you know, work through it. So great job, guys. I love you. Have a great summer and be safe. All right. Enjoy. Dear students, just want to say it's been a pleasure working with all of you this year. I also want to say thank you to those of you who have worked so hard and diligently over the past few months. Take some time to relax and enjoy your summer vacation. You've earned it. And to all of you, best wishes to a great start for seventh grade. Take care. Hi everyone. As you move on to seventh grade, remember to always try your best and never give up. Good luck and I know you'll do great. Hi everyone, Miss Nolan here. Just wanna wish you luck for next year. Even though we had a short time together, I enjoyed every minute of it and you will be greatly missed. Good luck and have a wonderful summer.